just walking up to Gumby Hall. Yep, uh, Gumby Hall is in Lincolnshire, built in the 17th century. Be nice to have a look around, mm. won't oh, it? Yes, though? it's not the best weather, but we'll make the most of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> Gumby Hall was built in 1700 for the Massingbird family. The house features intimate rooms and a wonderful homely feel. Above this fireplace is a framed piece of paper, signed by Alfred Tennyson, and is an extract from his poem Palace of Art, believed to refer to Gunby Hall. The hall has 42 rooms and is Grade 1 listed. It sits in 1,500 acres of land. over 250 years, but when the Air Ministry attempted to demolish it in 1943 to extend a nearby airfield, the family fought to save it. Afterwards, they gave the house and estate to the National Trust. The back staircase is decorated with William Morris wallpaper in the daisy pattern, first printed in 1864. The squire's bedroom has wallpaper in the Asiatic pattern, dating from 1920. The estate used to extend to the coast, but part was sold in the 19th century to the Earl of Scarborough. He used it to build the town of Skegness to satisfy the growing tourist demand due to the expansion of the railways.
of just being in the house. What did you think? Oh, I loved it. It was nice because it had that real lived-in look, didn't it? Mm, it did, yes. Uh, it was uh, handed over to the trust, but it was tenanted for a while. So it's uh, as they left it, it's uh, really nice. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, coffee? Mm, I think so. The hall is believed to be haunted by a servant murdered when he planned to elope with the Lord's daughter. The ghost of the servant has been seen to haunt the path to the pond, now known as the Ghost Walk. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our trip to Gunby today. It's been lovely, hasn't it? It has, yes. Yeah, I like the gardens, they're nice, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely. Even this time of year, they look good. Yeah, snowdrops are lovely, weren't they? Mm. And the house was nice as well, wasn't it? It was, yes. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, well, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. A fresh new snowdrop greeted me amongst the leaves beneath the tree. That delicate and tiny flower braves frost and rain and snowy shower to tell us spring is nigh. My garden soon will bloom again in summer sunshine, gentle rain, with pansies, roses, hollyhocks, but none can bring such joy to me as that tiny snowdrop neath the tree. <laughs>